on top of his game. I love this guy the way he, he just drives his audience anytime he's on stage. He's just a great guy. Don, don't, don't forget to wave when can black striking. Don't forget to Ken Black. He's just gonna be a great guy all the time. So we are having Ken Black in the house. In the next few minutes, we're gonna have a clock online. Uh, we are going to be drilling, drilling Ken Black. We need to hear from him. We need to be here from him, guys. I appreciate everyone that's coming down here to share us up and to learn new things. It's all about exceptional with Sam, and the concept is simple. We always bring the best around the world that are doing great things, that are making African proud, that are making the world proud. To hear how about their story and so that we can learn from them, so that they can motivate us to also do great things. It all the time is always effort to look for the great guys out there and to bring them here down to you to learn from them. Today we are bringing Ken Black in the house. This guy is just an amazing guy. Every time I listen to Ken Black, I always laugh. And again, there's something about him is that they put out content that you always learn from it. That will always learn from always passing messages. So not all about content creation, but you need to use whatever message you pass out there to be able to drive value so that people can learn from you. And that is what Ken Black is always about. And I love He's the guy, hours. the way he drives his message all the time. He makes sure that all of this, all of this is packaged down in his message. All cultural details, knowledge, information. I love the guy. So let's talk about Kenny Black. So it's all about essential with Sun. And what we do here is that we bring the very best around the world and try to ask them about their success, how they are able to achieve those, that fantastic success so that we can learn from their story so that our younger generation can learn from them and that way we can have more people do successful things they are great talent in africa they are great talent in nigeria they are great talent all over the world but we have greater talent in nigeria and these guys are making us proud we have greater talent in africa they are making us proud all the time and that is why we take our time to look for great guys so that we bring them on the program for you to learn from them and to know those things that you don't know about them aside the one that you know when they are performing those other things that we can always know uh, learn from them and use that to also improve whatever we are doing it's a good thing to always always learn from the very best and that's what we do here we bring the very best to see how we can also learn the business side of them aside the fact that they throw out content they make us laugh how do they make money how do they keep keep uh, sustainability how do they keep happy? How do they keep going? And how do they keep on top of the game? We have a lot of people that are there that they have been off for some time and suddenly they are off the radar. But these guys are always on top. How do they keep this? How do they keep that those kind of thing happening? So we need to find out and learn from them. We need to find out and learn from them. Okay, so why we wait for Kenny Black? So what we do is basically about entrepreneurship. How do you make money? We believe that everybody can make money. Everybody can create value that people want. You need to take in what you look, look at around you, look for things that people are will always pay for and try to provide a service and people will pay you for it. The same effort that you use to waste time to do things that are bad, the same effort could be used to do things that are good. At the same time, doing things that are good and making money and you are happy. We, it's, it's, you have to do things that you are proud of. Everything that you are doing that you are not proud of it, you don't need to do it. Do things that you will be proud of it, that will make you happy, that will make you influence other people, not about making money. It's not about making money, it's about imparting people, imparting life. And that's why you have to do things that are legal, things that, that, things that can make you proud, that can say anywhere at any time. And those are the things that we encourage younger generation to learn from. And that's why we take our time to look for the very best who are doing things that are legit and things that are that are making African proud, so that our younger generation can learn that you have you can do things right and make money. You don't need to do the wrong thing to make money. You don't need to do the wrong thing to survive. You can do the right thing, and you are happy that you are doing it and you are proud of it. So that's why we look around to get the very best that will make us proud. Bring them on here. Yeah. So we are watching out for Kenny Black to join us. So as we are waiting for him to come online, I'm waving out to my guys. Everybody that's waving, I appreciate you for stopping by. And to make us, it's because of you that we're having this program all the time. And it's because you are here 
to listen to us and that's why we are here so there are a lot of things you can do you can do arbitrage i always speak about arbitrage you can get something from the market that is lower and sell in the, in the market that is higher you can go to the mainland you can go uh, you can even buy something from the us and sell it in, in, in the local market in africa you can buy anything from china there are a lot of things you can do just engage yourself with the good uh ideas and keep making money don't need to do bad things keep doing the right thing and keep making Africa proud. We have good people all over Africa that are making us proud. And those are the kind of people we watch out for every time on Exceptional with Sam. And don't forget, always promote your brand. Don't, stay, don't say that it's expensive to promote brand. Look for a reason to promote your brand. Be proud of your brand. Always showcase your brand. Let people know about your brand. Work with the, work with the people that can help you promote your brand and grow your network, grow your brand grow your business and be happy and do what you love to do. If you don't love what you do, then you might need to change it. It is good to love what you do so that when you face the hard time, you can drive through it because you love what you're doing. So we are still waiting for Kenny Black. This guy is, is Kenny Black because he's black. He's a black beauty of Africa. <laughs> yes, where is Kenny Black? Kenny Black, where are you? Come online. So don't forget, Write down your question. When this guy come online, we're gonna dream down so that we can learn from him. Can write has been topping. You have been topping. You have been topping what he is doing. You have been topping this industry, you've been topping this market. What are his strategy? How is he keeping it? He needs to come and tell us it's a good time today to have great guys on board. So you guys watch out for Kenny Black. So it's a good time again to always be here. I love to always be here to interview great talents. Every time I love to always be here to interview great talent that will make us smile, happy, and we learn way to do business, okay? A lot, a, lot, a lot of our guys want to generate their content, want to build their content, and they are looking for a way they can promote their content, they can, they can do a lot of things. Come down here and learn from a great content creator, a music, an actor, a comedian, a music comedian, all in one international tour guy is always having show back to back in the UK, in the US. This is the guy that you know what it means to get guy like this on board. So come down, tie your bed, prepare your question. It's our own Kenny Black we're bringing over here. So Kenny Black, his son is going to join us very soon. So why are we waiting for Kenny Black? If you have any question, let's let's ask question any question while i ask me question if you have any question about business about entrepreneurship if, about your career feel free to ask question and i'm going to answer your question feel free to ask question and all of that so if you are talking about different uh, kind of uh, platform for promoting your your product it basically depends on uh, the kind of thing you're you are trying to promote. Are you promoting that their, their mass market, are they a retail product? What does it mean? Things that everybody wants to buy, that everybody can use. Then you can use platform like Instagram to promote your product because everybody comes to Instagram. Then if it's B2B, you might begin to think about platform like LinkedIn. LinkedIn have a lot of business people on there that are ready to buy your product. Okay. Uh, on LinkedIn, who are ready to buy <coughs> wow 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 that is the great candy black umbo <laughs> that is my god hello umbo yes welcome welcome, welcome bro it's, it's great to have you you you've been doing a fantastic job honestly we appreciate you yes we can hear you we can hear you You've been doing a fantastic job. The way you, you, you draw your content, the way you make people laugh while you are driving a uh, huge message to our younger generation. We appreciate all that you do. And um, people want to know the other side of you. Who is Kenny Black? First of all, welcome on board, boy. How's your day been going? How's your day today? Crazy, man. I just got home from an event and I almost left from the devil. I, I can imagine. I can imagine. I can imagine. You have a lot of them back to back all over the world, yes, man. Yes. Keep making Africa proud. Keep making us Thank proud. You, love you, man. Thank you, bro. 
Thank yes, you. so quick one. Uh, people want to know uh, about you, things that we don't know about Kenny Black. We know Kenny Black to be this creative guy that can do music comedy, that can make us laugh. He's down to hair, very humble guys. Who are that guy? The one we don't know about you, man. Let's do it. What is it that we don't know about Kenny Black? Tell us. Okay, um, a lot of people don't know I have a twin sister. A lot of people feel that Kenny is from Kenneth or something. Oh, um, a lot of people don't know that I studied basic presentation at the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria. Um, so I'm a broadcaster also. Mm, what else? Well, I'm just, I'm just an easygoing guy. Hope you're with me. Yeah, very well. Very well. We're enjoying okay. you, man. Yeah, We're so um, what, what, what else do people don't know about me? Uh, I, I like to, you know, encourage... Uh, talent around me. <clears throat> I like to encourage them to be the best that they do. Um, I have a studio where I record some artists, um, uh, not like free, 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 but almost for free. Um, I don't know what else, I don't know what else people don't know about me, Sha. I don't know. <laughs> I'm well, the, I, you're, I'm, I'm you're, 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 your academic background, your academic background, you went to Harvard, oh. you went to MIT, oh. to yeah, yeah. I went to Harvard, but I felt I was too intelligent for their teacher, so they chased me oh, out. Okay, yeah. I can imagine, I can imagine. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, okay, but, good uh, I'm, to, uh, I'm from family of seven, I'm a in Um I went to I went to I went to a primary and secondary school in Ejibo. I, I left primary primary five because of one teacher made some car for that teacher can flog. So I told her parents that we didn't like the school from anything everything about the school. So we left the school, we went to um, Gold Vessel. Then, okay, I wrote, I, I wrote, I, I think I wrote Wayek in a tutorial. Uh, we got to a point we could not afford to, you know, at that point then you have to pay second term and third term school fees together to write Wayek in school. Uh, so I went to a tutorial. Uh, my parents could not afford it at that time. It uh, ah, was crazy, it was challenging. So I went to a tutorial, hybrid tutorial where I wrote Wayek, I wrote, I wrote Jamb also. And, I think that's it. That's it. That's a great one. That that's a great one. That's a great one. It, it, it it's very amazing when one look at the success that you have attained today, coming from a very humble background. I think that's that's quite impressive, and I wish a lot of people can learn from that. The, the spirit of not giving up, trying to get the very best, regardless of yeah, so. just amazing, man. Just amazing. Thanks, boss. Thank wow, Kenny Black that we see today, international. Music comedian, that's amazing. So, quick one people are asking that at what point do you discover that you have a music uh, comedy skills? Okay, when I started, I did start at what point? Comedian. When I started, I did start as a music comedian. I started as um, I started as a musician, a backup artist. I used to sing for these Yoruba Juju singers. As, as I said, yes, I used to be, I used to, I used to be, the, I used to be that. That studio, bad band boy, you know, always back up. I was just guys, I used to be one of those, those guys being back up then. I, I started that at the age of 12. Um, so I was in back up for different juju band then. Later, I found the love for gathering people together and acting drama, you know. So I created a group called Move the Crowd and we'll go to different places and act drama. Then when I when I clocked 18, I started listening to the likes of um the likes of you know Jamie um the likes of Kim Burrell, Jay Moss, and so, so I was already like singing like them. So in 2008. Somebody said to me, ah, man, you have this amazing voice and you are very, very funny naturally. Is it possible for you to, to MC um, a rally? It was a rally called Message. I oh, no problem. So I did it and it was amazing. And people were like, oh, you have what it takes. I was able to mimic Yoruba, Igbo, and Awusa. Not like I could speak the language, but I had the accent. So I would just make um, jokes out of, out of everything around me. And that was how I did it. And I went on stage for the first time. Um, um, on the, I will not forget my life. It was, it was 
August 9, 2008. I can never forget. It was in the night I went to stage. I used to wear all this clown, all this Baba, Baba Salah clown, face my face, wear dark glasses. <laughs> 2008, August 9th. Put stops in my stomach just to people to call me Biggie Bele, you know, wear different type of shoes and uh, just to make people laugh, you know, just do all those kind of things. And that was what I was doing. Then later, I dropped that costume in 2009, 2009, 2010, and I bought, I was able to save money to buy, you know, this clown costume, all this bunny. I, before, before, before I saved that money to buy that clothes, I was, I was, I was Mickey Mouse, I was Teletubbies, I was, I, I was almost for that Christmas, but I was still black for him, so. Wow. I was, I swear, so I was, you know, the, I think the day they stopped allowing me wearing the, the bunny costume and Mickey Mouse, but because I used to sweat a lot. So I would go backstage and remove the head of the bunny to collect fresh air until one kid came back and said, Mommy, mommy Bunny is black. He's drinking. I was drinking Coke. I could not kill myself. So imagine it was disgraceful scene. The almighty me came out backstage, finding himself and drinking Coke. Like, ah, I cannot kill myself. And stuff like that. So I dropped that. Um, in 2008, 2010, I bought my own clown costume. I was doing clown MC. And um, officially in 2011, I got invited to perform at the Calabar Festival. And all this time I was just doing, all this time I was just doing normal comedy. You understand? I didn't wow. even know music comedy was going to be the thing. So one day I tried to, I just tried to, I was cracking jokes. It was not kind of working. Then I sang. I put like, ooh. So I was just, I found myself bringing, just turning any song around and turning it to music <laughs> comedy. Just bringing the funny side of a song that people like. And I tried it wow. for the first time. I just tried it among my guys and it worked. And I felt like, ah, like maybe I should try this on stage. And I tried this on stage and it worked better than when I was just cracking jokes. So I did it at two, three events, two, three comedy um, shows. And they were like, oh, I felt like people remembered me easily. That instead of remembering a lot of comedians, they remember me like the comedian that sang. And that was how music comedy started for me. So I didn't feel like, oh, I started music comedy because I wanted to start music comedy. I started music comedy because um, I felt like I just wanted to give it a try. If it was something that was going to work. I wanted to be everything. I wanted to be a musician, be a comedian, be a dancer, be everything. So when I started music comedy and it worked, and that was how I started for me, I felt like, oh, I think this is it. And I would think music comedy chose me. Music is something I've always wanted to do. I'm from a family of music. Comedy is my lifestyle. Wow. So... Comedy is who I am. Music is mm. my talent. Comedy is my gift. So I, mm. I, I feel that God, God found a way to, you know, put what I love to do and who I am together to become music mm. comedy. So I didn't just wake up one morning and became a music comedian. I just, it was something that worked alongside with what I wanted to do and who I am. So that's how music comedy started for me. Mm. Wow. Wow. See, there's, there's something I noticed about your story that is amazing. There's consistency and there's persistency. It means that you remember you started your life by backing on the, the artist. That yeah. means you were humble enough to learn. Yeah. Then there was a time you were serving. That means there was a yeah. time you were serving. You mm -hmm. serve, 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 backing a lot of music artists. Then you got a point that you tried new things yourself. And you were flexible. You tried different things, it never worked. You tried different things, you, you bought a costume. Uh, cartoon comedy, you never walk. You try comedy, you never walk. But you were trying to find out that thing that is going to work. Okay, yeah. until you find out that music comedy was the way out. And it now yeah. works. That's, that's, that's how business is in life. I can tell yeah, you, so. you don't need to die. Some people will tell you that they want to play football, they want to die there. They want to become a musician, they want to die there. You have to keep trying new things. Keep trying new things until you find the one that works for you. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're exactly. able to find your selling points, your strengths. And that is what is bringing you out everywhere. I hope a lot of people will learn. Persistency, he was able to serve, regardless of anything, he, he pays due. So it's not like any black, you know, sometimes we think that people just emerge from somewhere because we don't hear that story. That's why I love this program. You're in your story now, even me, I thought you just, this guy is just talented, you just, Came out like that, not knowing that they yeah. will actually pay your deal. Yes, uh, that is amazing. I hope a lot of people can, a lot younger generation can learn that they need to pay their deal. They have to learn. You have to yes, sell. Sir. You have yes, to keep sir. trying new things until you get 
the one that works for you. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. that's amazing. Now, the one that uh, is is really surprising is the way you I, you tour everywhere back to back all over the world. I checked your itinerary. I saw you have a lot of, almost everywhere in the UK. You have a program. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. How do you manage all this tour? How do you manage all these things? Um, okay, uh, what what I always try to do is to not just wait for the future, but prepare for it. You know, like when I was starting, uh, all I wanted to do, I know I know where I was going to. I know what I want to do. I know how I want to achieve what I want to do. Um, I think, okay, I, I didn't know how I was going to achieve it, but I know what I wanted. It's just like um, somebody giving you an address and saying that, meet me in a better, and you're going to a better for the first time. So all you have to do is, okay, before that day, Google a better, Google how many minutes it will take you to a better, Google, okay, what's the fastest route to a better? Okay, if, the, if there's no fast route to a better, I need to prepare that. On the day I'm going to a better, I have to wake up early. Or let's say Kurudu, for example, or Koko, are you still on the island? So I know that the I'm going to Koko, I have to wake up early. I have to know that this is how I'm going to plan my day. I have to be careful, okay, what time does traffic really start? leaving the island what time does traffic start getting there those are the things that happened for me i was like okay ah in the next five years i want to be the guy that everyone is talking about so before that five years come i said to myself what am i going to do i need to start writing jokes i need to start getting jokes ready so even when they were not giving me platforms i was getting materials ready so that the day they would give me platform uh, i know that I, we are going to die there is that is that that we break our head with materials and people be like i want to be able that okay for example, saying that I want to perform at the Opera Winfrey show. I need to start preparing for Opera Winfrey show so that when I perform, they will not want me to leave. I will be the talk of the town. If I'm going to be given five minutes, that five minutes is going to be the best five minutes they've ever seen. So what I try to do is, okay, I want to be that Kenny Black everyone is talking about. So before now, if I have a show, I will not put a date out if I'm not ready to perform. If I don't have materials ready to dish out, you will not see me put out a banner to say I want to do a show. So for me saying I want to do a UK talk, it means that I have like a one hour material ready. A one hour material that I've been working on, ready to dish out to the UK people. And this is what I always say, don't just wait for the future, prepare for it. I've always wanted to tour the UK. So the material that I've kept since lockdown, before lockdown, what I'm working on right now, what I'm still going to put together, is more than enough for the UK people to enjoy. So it's uh, so it's, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. You don't just sit down and say that. It is when the UK tour start that I'll start working. You can't, you can't just wait and say that, okay, see when the promoter calls me to do a UK tour, then I'll start writing the materials. You have to prepare, you have to prepare. Yeah, I know a lot of singers who, will, who have thousands of songs ready. If I, from then I'm even looking for money to record them so that when, it, when, when, when the record label comes, I see that, oh, this is how far you've gone. Then we can pick you from here. Nobody will take you serious when they see that you are just there waiting for somebody to look for you or somebody to discover you. It makes it easy for an investor, a record label owner, a manager to work with you when they see that, oh, this is how you've come. Wow, wow. Wow. Are we back? So somebody said that how, how can we take you from point B to point C? Don't let them take you from point A. If they are trying to take you from point A, it means that you are not you are not a serious person. You don't even have a scheme of work. You don't know what you want to do. So what I do is that even if I'm going to work with you, I need you to see that we are going to stage stage D. But I've been able to myself work through the B because nobody likes anybody <laughs> taking taking credit of the things that you've done. If they see that, oh, they need to take it from the scratch. They will take credit for even the things that you did for yourself. So, which mm. is what I always do. Prepare yourself. Prepare for the future. Don't just wait mm. for it. Gather enough experience. So that wow. when you're talking to somebody, when it's okay, uh, Mr. Kenny Blacko, we want to take you um, on a tour to UK. Uh, what are we going to do? We, do we need to start preparing jokes for you? Do we need to start preparing um, the places you are going to go? No, me. Ah. We already have the jokes ready. In fact, I will be good how to make um, British people laugh. I will be good. I have, I have experience on how to make um, the white people laugh. And people look at you like, okay, this guy is not just waiting. He's actually ready. What he's waiting for is the platform. He has the content. All he's waiting for is the container to land so he can flow. So that's what I've been doing. Wow. 
Wow, wow, that's amazing. There's a lot of things we need to learn from you. One is that you've seen the vision, you have the vision, you know where you are going. So you've seen the vision, so all you are doing is preparing for that day. So every day you are, you are breaking it down, preparing material for that greater day. So you have your all planned out. It's not a day that you want to go to the UK or US, you, are, you start looking for content. You already have enough yeah, content that can help you go to anywhere, whether it's UK, whether it's US, whether it's India, anywhere. So there's, there's a lot of work that has been put into all your resources, even before the opportunities come, before the platform comes. I hope yeah, a lot so. of you can learn from this. So the people, they will go and look for the ability and begin to look for the content. That, that people don't take you seriously. So what it also means is that you yourself, you have built some materials or evidence of success. Yes. That when yes. investors or people who have platform that can help you see those things, they can easily invest in, in you. Oh, yeah. That is, that is amazing. I, I really hope that a lot of businessmen will learn from this. So some people, they go and start looking for funding where they don't even have any product. They don't have any 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 creative. They don't. They've not done anything, and they start looking for funding. Whereas they need to take their time to build their product, build uh, the attraction, build their business, get customer to an extent before you begin to say you need to get an investor to invest in you. At that time, just like what Kenny say, they will not take credit for what you've done already because they are only picking you. They are not picking for the ground floor. They are picking for where you are to another level, and that one that way again. The, the, the investor himself respects you because he knows that yes, you have sir. put a lot of effort and they see value in you because you believe in what you're doing. And that one can take you to another level. That's how a businessman thinks. That's, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, it's really quite in, impressive. The other one that I that a lot of uh, people, when, they, when I ask them, they, they smile about. I want to ask you this question again. How are you able to make money from all of this? How are you able to make money from all of this? Because a lot of people want to be Kenny Black, but we know that for you to be Kenny Black, it's also important that you make money. So that's only the reason why Kenny Black is shining every day. Uh, okay, well, um, I don't know if my network is good. I think it's shaking a little. Yeah, but we can hear you. Okay. You can hear me clearly. Okay. Well, this is our Edibu network. Only God will help us. <laughs> okay. Um, when I started, it was not about the money. You know, and that's and I think I think that's um that's one of the things that made me Kenny Black. It was not about the money, it was the passion for what I wanted to do. I want I really want to want to be because I came from a place where people feel that if you're not piercing your ear, if you're not driving big car. If you're not sagging, you're not a big boy. You know what I'm if you're not popping in the club, you're not a big boy. You cannot, you, people feel like, you know, people feel like people don't believe in, people don't want to see your startup point. People don't want to see how you start. People don't want to see when you make it. Nobody wants to, people believe that, oh, they don't want to wake up tomorrow and see that you have a car. They don't want to see you carrying pong pong. They don't want to see you doing the things that will make you get the car. They want to wake up in the morning and see that you have a car. But I changed the orientation in my areas. I was when I was going to show with Okada, they were seeing me. I made, I made sure that they saw me. You understand? That I, I made sure that big I, I was not forming for anybody. I was not trying to hide from people saying that, oh, uh, I was not trying to hide my face when I was on top of the Okada and the Okada was shouting, Yani Jiguma, Yani Jiguma, Yani Jiguma, Yani Jiguma. I was not scared. I was just doing my thing. Because I know that the money will come if I do the right thing. So the first thing you need to first um think of think in your mind is okay if it's like selling a product you can't just sell a product and expect that the money will come immediately you understand you need to first of all convince people why they should pay you you need to first of all convince people like oh, i need to convince you that this product is worth selling i need to convince you that this so that's why a lot of people do give away these days a lot of people say you know what's going to happen i'm going to give use this product i want you to tell me what you feel you understand? By the time you use the product, you feel like, oh, this is nice. Then we cannot talk. I now I want this product. Very good for you. For me to give you, this is what this product costs. You understand? I do a lot of, I did a lot of free shows back in the day, but for even free shows, not because um, I don't need the money, but I feel like I need to show you some things. You need to be able to see the value in what I do. Uh, I've been able to get to a point where. If I want to do something free for somebody, I send you an email. Uh, I send you an undertaking that says, um, even when I'm even even when I'm doing even when I'm doing discounted price, I'm like, okay, see, take. This is what I do. 
This is how much I charge. But I'm going to do this for you for free for this event because of so 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 so. Understand? Because there are a lot of people who would, who you would do free stuff for, and we recommend you to other people to do free stuff for them because you did free stuff for them. So you have to place it. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, they are, they are, they you become free. Right you become free. They're like, ah, and you're like, how ah, are you charging me this money? Mrs. Onyeka said that you did it for her for free. They don't know the relationship you have with Mrs. Onyeka. You understand? So now it's not just even till now, it's not just about the money. Uh, though sometimes we then most of the 80% is about the money, but most of the time it's not about the money. I will not go to a place where money is over my reputation. I will not go to a place where opportunity comes with strings attached. If you want to pay me a million naira or a million dollars and it and it will make me uncomfortable, I will not do it. That is me. If it, if it's if it's going to make me uncomfortable, I will not do it. If it requires me doing things that I will not be proud of, I will not do it. So mm. sometimes it is not just look at the likes of Two Face, look at the likes of um, Alibaba. They will not go to a place where opportunity comes with strings attached. If you like, give them ten million dollars. If it's something that will, um, if it's something that they will not be proud of, if it, because we all have men, we have, we have, we, we, when we're growing up, we have mentors. Now that we've grown, we have people who see us as, as mentors. They are watching our steps. So they, they, they will also make the same mistake that we make. You understand? So you need to consider the fact that people are looking up to you and want to be like you. And you, you, you don't have, you may not have the idea of the amount of people who will be disappointed if you fail. You might not. Mm -hmm. You do not have an idea of how many people are watching you. Even the person you think is beefing you is actually watching your step and saying that, oh, my brother, if this guy feels definitely, if people, I, I've seen people who say that if any black can do it, yes, I can. I, when I started doing, I was, the, I was the youngest comedian to book a hotel. I was the youngest mm -hmm. comedian in the book a hotel. Now, this is money we're talking about. This is money leaving me, mm -hmm. not money, money. I'm, I'm not the receiving end. I'm the one spending money. I was the youngest comedian mm. to do a co-hotel. And after I did a co-hotel mm. successful, a lot of people started doing a co-hotel. A lot of people older than me felt that, oh, I need to watch this. If this guy can be successful doing this, then I know how much I lost. You understand? But I've been able to create a standard for myself. I've been able to create that integrity mm. to say, oh, yes, I can do this. Sometimes it's not just about the money. It's about the value. It's about the value you put on your brand. Some, wow. Sometimes wow. the name, your name is better than how much they are going to pay you. How you protect wow. your name, how you protect your brand, how you protect the things that you do is more important than wow. how much somebody is going to pay you. For example, now somebody might say, okay, um, what if I give you 10 million naira to give me the name Kenny Black? I don't want you to bear the name of name Kenny Black. But my, my name Kenny Black is worth more than 10 million. So you need to first of all have the orientation that you are, you are bigger than money, that you are somebody money cannot buy. We all need money in life. You need money. But by the time you put money as, 100%, you begin to lose your value. That's why they start calling you for shows. They start calling you everywhere. There's what we call law of scarcity. If you are everywhere because of money, you become pure water. You understand? Hmm. So it now, it's now it's money. Well, we want money, but I don't put money before me. I put integrity before me. I put me before me. Wow. We, I need money. Wow. I'm not like you. You cannot even come wow. in for an event now without paying me. You can't but say it again. Can, you can't say it again. Let them hear. Yeah, tell them. You can't come. You can't come in for an event without paying me. But there's an amount of money you will call. No matter how big the money is, if it affect my integrity, if it affect my brand, I'm sorry, I can't do it. So that's just the way it is. You know what that means in business? It means that's your one. That's your value. That's your core value. Okay, and it's it's amazing that you you are able to apply that even to your own business to what you do. That if you are, no matter how much they offer you, you cannot bend your rules. You cannot bend your integrity for anything. That's amazing. I wish a lot of people can learn from that. There are a lot of people that because of just small money, they can sell their bet right. They can do illegal things. Because of small money, they can do illegal things. That is yes. Kenny Black that is speaking to you now, saying that he will not bend his integrity to do anything that will spoil his name directly or indirectly. I hope the younger generation can learn from this. It's not about money. It's about being proud of yourself when you are doing something. When you do something, you stand there and be proud that you did that. Wow, that's amazing. This is amazing. I'm seeing on the other side of Kenny Black. Oh, <laughs> Kenny the Kenny. 
Okay, that's a, that's a good one. I want to ask that we have been enjoying ourselves. What are the challenges that you face growing up in your life, in your career? Can you tell like three different challenges that you face and how you aim to overcome it? Okay, there were disadvantages, and I'm proud that those disadvantages have not become advantages to me. Um, I would say my my stature. I started coming at the very tender age. When I started in 2008, I was very, very young and skinny. And I will always go to places like Muson and want to perform with the big comedians where Sheila, Shakara, Akboru, and the likes were performing. And people used to see me as a kid, like, what would this kid do? People just judge the book by the cover. They look at me and like, this one is a small boy. And as much as my friends felt that, oh, I need to, I need to add more to I felt that, no, I like it though. It's better for it's better for you to be underrated. Hmm? It's better for you to be underrated and surpass expect expectation than to be overrated and people expect more for you and you give less. So when you're underrated, it's not a bad thing. No? On, when you're underrated, it's not a bad thing at all. It means that you need to work hard so that you that they are underrated, the day you get that platform, people are like, oh, we really underrated this guy. This guy is not who we think we are done, people over, overrate you and feel like, oh, guy, man, this guy is going to kill it now. And they're like, oh, maybe today's not his best day. You understand? So my height, my stature, my, um, my, the way I look really, and I didn't have money to buy good clothes, you understand? And which is what I've learned now, that looking good is good business. People judge you by what, this, and, and I work in Nigeria, people judge you by how you look, by the kind of car you bring. That's how they, that's how they judge you right now. So back then it was it was challenging for me because I was not getting money to buy. Uh, I was doing free shows. I was going for praise night, you know. And later we started getting you know honorariums and uh, blessings from pastors. But before then it was really challenging. There was no money and stuff like that. So, but what, what happened was that small stature of a thing became my advantage. So when I go and people look at, can you see what that small boy did? Can you see how that small boy was able to compete? with the big names can you see what that so the same small boy that they were saying the small boy you can't do anything what's wrong what, what did this small boy do became can you see what that small boy did i wish bring me back to what i was saying preparing for the future don't just wait for it so we were like so th that, that was a very big challenge for me and somebody saw me at a wedding one time and said are you the mc i said yes said uh you the mc i said yes now he said okay after the wedding, the guy came back to apologize to me. He said, I'm sorry. I didn't know what you were capable of doing. I would go to events with my complimentary cards. And comedians would look at me and like, why is this one carrying complimentary card up and down? I would share my complimentary card like flyer. I would share my complimentary card like flyer because I needed people to come to me. And my, my, so my stature, my, 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 the way I looked um, became a challenge, became um, a disadvantage, but later became an advantage. People would just see me like, guys. I love the way you perform. I want to give you clothes. You understand? And that was how it happened. The second one would be, the second one would be, I me, I'm a, I'm a big dreamer. Um, so when I said I was going to do a co-hotel for the first time, it was challenging because there was no money. You understand? Um, people felt I was too young to do it at that point, that it was too early for me to do it, that nobody in my category, nobody my age has done that. And so I, I started getting this. I am. Um, I started getting talk down from people that you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Even my own team said to me that I'm not sure this is something that we can do now. But I said it is going to be possible. I was challenging my fears. I said it is going to happen. I've been stubborn boy when it comes to my dreams. So we are challenging saying people are saying that if this thing happen, will this thing work? So people saying. So this small boy actually sold out the quarter. So this small boy actually did this. Same thing happened in London when I wanted to do the O2, the Indigo O2. And I pray like, are you sure you can do this? So people just look at me and maybe because of my stature and how fast I'm able to achieve the things I've, I've achieved. People just look at me like, you are too young to do this. And like, his excellency, but the Mamadou Gwari will say, no worry, you're too young to run. Why not too young to run? So it means you are not too young to run. We are not too young. You're not too young to do big things. You are not too young to be the next superstar. You're not too young to be the next Swiss kid. You're not too young to, wow. to be the next David O, to be the next Alibaba, to be the next basketball. 
all you have to do is to believe in yourself. Once you don't believe in you, nobody else can believe in you. So for you to make it, you have you need to first of all have the orientation that I can, not I think I can, not I might, not I will. Mm-hmm. It is I can, and that was what happened to me. Wow, wow, wow! So uh, I think the last two, um, the third, the third, the third, the third challenge for me. I, I, I'm not sure I have any third challenge. And people, I used to be very, very black, but thank God they're not the fair. I mean, this life is not fair. So, Come again. I didn't hear the third one. I didn't hear the third one. I, I said the third one is my complexion. I used to be very black, but thank God now there's light at the end of my tunnel. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. You see, I think a lot of people can have to learn from this. Can the black ass uh look at his disadvantage and converted it to an advantage? Like he said, he had to prepare much more, put a lot of effort to press much more than any time it appears. He overperformed. So people begin to see him that he's actually bigger than what it looks like. That's amazing. So a lot of people get the way people look at them to discourage their effort, their, the much they can put in what they can, what they can actually do. So it's, it's just telling you that you should not get uh, distracted by what people say about you, the discouraging statement. You have to look inward and see what you can actually do and show them the results. And when they see the results, they end up telling you sorry, just like what they did to Kenny Black when he went for that uh, presentation. And another thing that Kenny Black also, uh, also uh, 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 discussed was the fact that he liked big dreams. Like the time he went for a hotel, even his team were discouraged. But it means that he was a risk taker. And that's what we need in business. You need to, for you to grow higher, you need to make up your mind to take higher risk. The better higher risk you can take, the better return you get. So he was able to calculate his risk. I know that this is going to change his life. And he did that. And here is Kenny Black today. The other one is the complexion. For me, Kenny Black is just the brand, man. He's not the brand. Yes, sir. If you go, if you go yes, check the color, you don't, the brand don't disappear with that. The brand don't disappear you know, with so that. So I'm to find another how game. people are converting what people think is a disadvantage into a big advantage. Kenny Black has been on top. It's just amazing. I just realized that now he started singing... Uh, Different music now. He sing, in fact, there's a new one. Think uh, other language. I saw he saw Chinese. Uh, he was taking Chinese India. and Indian music and all of that. I I, I yeah. was not asking it out. Let's all behave yourself. Don't disgrace the book. Don't disgrace the okay. I just saw that the recent comedy that the black is doing now is to speak every language. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Where you go? Where you try to go to China and India? Uh, okay. Uh, hope you can see me. I, I said nowadays your comedy is you come with a different language. You speak India. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Speak Hindu. You speak Chinese. You speak all of that. I said, is it real one or is it just Konja? Okay. Uh, for me, eh, I try as much as possible to not let people see um what I'm bringing. I let them not know. Um, how I'm bringing what I'm bringing. So um, I let them see, oh, Kenny Black does music comedy, but we don't know what music is going to give us next. Or oh, Kenny Black is going to do a cover of Whiskey Song, but we don't know what genre he is going to do it with. You understand? So so I was like, oh, somebody just said to me, oh, Kenny, so what if you are invited to India to perform? Can you come? It was a booking that we had, we had sometime in, um, sometime last year. I was like, yeah, no, no, not last year, like three years ago. We were supposed to go to India. I was like, okay, I was like, if I even go to India, what, what do I want to tell the Nigerians even over there? I need to do something. And I did the Ombaru Winirbi World Olami Day. On, and I was like, ah, so the, the, the place that they were going to invite me to in London, uh, in India, happened to be a church. I was like, ah, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I need to, I need to make sure that I appeal to the Indians and I appeal to the Nigerians bringing me. And that was how I did the Indian stuff. And it's all something I always like to do. Wow. Like I'm working on a, I'm working on um, is this, um, I'm working on this, um, this uh, Telemundo kind of a thing also. I'm working on that presently. I'm working on, I'm working on a French joke, a French musical joke. I'm wow. working on different, different music because what, I, what I'm able wow. to do is to not let, to not let people see me finish. That's why I can sing in, I can sing. In Igbo style, but well, that will have been a lot of effort. That will have been a lot of effort and research on your side. Yes, yeah, so I do research every day. I burn data on 
on on YouTube, trying to research. What I always try to do is I look at what kind of genre have I not done. What's the next thing for me? What? Well, I know but, people. But do you know that? Uh, Kenny, Go on, sir. Kenny, do you know that what you are actually doing is called globalization? What you yes, are doing so. is that for every you are going to everywhere in the world and adapting your comedy to that location. That location. That's globalization. That's, that's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. You are adapting it to every locality you you want to you want to perform and all of that. That's amazing. I wish a lot of people. Some people are so lazy. They want to present the same content they present in Ibadan, in India, in the US, yeah, yeah. in America, and they will not grow. It doesn't work. That you have to be creative. It's amazing. People think it's only musicians that have to sit down and write. Even as a comedian, you have to sit down and write. You have to do research all the time, write your content, yeah, so. adapt it to the location. Just like when you are selling any product, if you want to go to your product anywhere in another country, you have to look at, do research about that country and see what is going to appeal to that country or that location. Yeah. That's adaptation and that's what you're doing, man. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank that's you, amazing, man. my brother. You are doing good. So let me ask you another thing. Now, a lot of people are looking up to you and they love what you're doing. What would be your advice and tip? To them, younger generation that want to be kind of blood and looking up to you, uh, the way you 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 have integrity so high, the way you are on top of your game, because it's not easy to be that high for a very long time. You know, it's not. I, I can tell you that it's not always easy to keep on that on that top level for a very long time. Some people reign for two years, some people reign for three years, some people reign for four years, and they're gone. But you've been on top there for a very long time. What? What do you think you have for the younger generation, people who are admiring you as mentor, looking up to you? What is your advice for them? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Okay, 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 quick one. We are losing out with Kenny Black. I can hear you now, I can hear you now. Okay, good one, good one. I, I said you know. that. Uh, what do you have yeah. for the younger generation, the tip advice, people looking up to you, and they want to also keep their integrity and constantly be on top of their game. You've been on top of a game for a very long time. Uh, it's required a lot of consistency and hard working. So I want to know how you are able to keep yourself that high. Tell us uh, your advice for the younger generation. Um, it's okay. First of all, eh, it's God. You cannot do anything without God. That's the truth. Because God who gives you the talent already know where he's taking you to. Yeah. No matter how people try to hate you, no matter how people try to um, discourage you, where God is going to take you is going to take you. You People will hate you. Um, and for people to hate you and not like what you do, it's a preparation for, for success. When you're trying something and it's not working, um, and people are laughing at you, if you give up, then you've messed up because you're actually giving victory to those people who said you can't. A lot of people feel that when you start something, you have to make it immediately. But I will not be here to share my story if these things did not happen to me. The craziest things that, the craziest things that happened to me prepared me to be a better person. Uh, for you to taste, for you to drink a, a, a bottle of water and say that this water has taste, it means that you've tasted a very clean and good water for you to drink um a very good a very good and clean water and say that ah this one makes sense this one this one doesn't make sense i prefer this one it means that you've tried both you cannot really tell if something is bad or good if you've not tried both so what god tries to do is to put is allow you see things that can go wrong it's allow people to hate you so that you can appreciate it when things start happening for you so that I can appreciate it when, oh, yeah, finally I'm here. 
So at that point, you do not settle for less because you know where you are coming from. If it comes easy, then like somebody used to say, if it comes easy, then I'm not sure you really work hard for it. If you work hard for something, eh, if, for example, if somebody gives you a shirt worth one thousand naira, you might not know the value of that shirt. But if you work hard to buy that shirt, you will cherish it because you really work hard. You really, you know what it took you to buy that shirt. You understand? That's like people use the things that they that they that, that they buy more than gifts that they get because you don't know how much of how much is the gift, how much is how much is how much is that gift worth? But you know how much is what you bought by yourself worth. So believe in yourself. Do not let anybody discourage you because you're actually on your way to a bigger platform. Things might not start well for you, but it's a preparation to make you get better. So wow. that one day you can stand and say, oh, wow. I made it, I did it, regardless of what happened to me. Wow. Believe in God, wow. believe in yourself. Do not settle for less. It's okay to have big dreams, but it's also okay to wow. start small so you can also get to the place you're going to. Wow, wow, that's amazing. So I'm going to recap. You said one thing that you need to believe in God. Okay, secondly, yeah. you need to not allow distraction when you're starting very small. Start very small and keep growing. Don't allow anybody to discourage or distract you. And be patient about your growth. You will eventually be successful. And uh, now people can celebrate you. We are having his, the story of Kenny Black because of his patience. He has worked hard. He has not allowed people to discourage him when he was coming up. He keep on at his putting all his best in his work and he was growing. And today he is. He is. So I, I believe as we are watching our younger generation, we should learn to do the right thing. He has told us integrity is number one. The fear of God is very key. To so put all your hard work in and don't be started by noise, people that are discouraging you. Try to work with those people who will encourage you and take a bigger risk that will take you to the next eye. Mr. Kenny Black, you've done, you've done a fantastic job today. You've done justice to it. So quick one, let's see. If you have any questions, let's know. Let's see if we have any question for Kenny Black so that we we'll see if you have any question for Kenny Black. Just ask any question for Kenny Black. Somebody is asking, are you married? Yeah, I'm not going to ask asking you. I'm single, though. I never have given. Uh, somebody also asked, are you searching? My Wi-Fi is on, though. I'm still searching. Your Wi-Fi is on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, let's see. Let's see. We need one more question. So people are saying they like what you do. They like they are giving a lot of recommendation. They love you. They like what you're doing. We also like Kenny Black. He's making us proud. He's always, always humble and doing his own thing in his own way. He's always unique. I need one more question. Somebody's throwing another question. He said, what, what is your motivation? Somebody says, what's your motivation? Uh, what motivates me is making sure that um, seeing people around me win. Yoruba we see um, as in a rich person among um, um, poor people is also poor. Um, winning and also making sure that my people win. Seeing my friends win. See my friends not settle for less motivates me to always want to do better. Uh, looking at my environment, where I'm from, Ejigo, people are not proud of Ejigo. People are not saying, no, but I'm not sure anybody had said I'm from Ejigo. Everybody likes to claim the island, but forget it. You have to represent where you're from. People need to see that you came from a place where people think that nothing good can come out from. And so mm. always represent your hood, always represent your area. Uh, so that when you come back home, you'll be celebrated like a king. So my hood represent me, motivates me. Every time I go back to Egypt and see things happening there, you always motivate me to do better because I feel like if I can make it from Egypt, any other person can make it from Mushi, from Odogunyo, from Agri, from Ogulunto, from Abule Egba, from anywhere you can make it. So wow. my hood wow. motivates me. Wow. Kerry Black, you've done a lot of justice. We appreciate you. Uh, thank you for honoring our invitation. Okay, somebody said somebody what said, you do. Please keep making us said, proud. And I know that you are doing a couple of, of show. Do you yeah. want to tell us anything about your show or what you, what is new that you're working on? Okay, somebody said who motivates me, not what motivates me. Ah, God motivates me. My 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 family motivates me. Um, I also learned from some, some of my mentors. I live about basket, ay, um, Bovi. Jamie Foxx, Kevin Hart, a lot of them. Um, so everybody, all of them motivate me. But most importantly, God motivates me. And I also motivate myself to always do better. Looking back at my videos, looking back at what I've done, 
and see that same tells me I said I need to do better. I need to motivate that guy to get better. So that's it. Um, I'm going to be touring the UK starting from next month. Um, I'm going to be in Milton Keynes, Liverpool, Aberdeen, um, Glasgow, Leicester, Manchester. Um, we're going to be in London. We're going to, we're going to be in London. That's going to be in September. We're going to be in um, it, almost. You, you, you see the you see the flyer on my page. We're touring the UK, <laughs> uh, showing everybody that man. We are this time around. We're not even targeting just the Nigerian audience. We're targeting the British people. They are all coming out. They've been hearing about Kenny Black. What can he do? Um, it's 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 well, how 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 can a Nigerian make me laugh? We're going to prove to you that we have what it takes. Um, if the Kevin else can do it, then it can black and do it. So we're, we're, we're mm. coming through, and we're, we're, we're going to make sure that we represent Nigeria, not UAR. We're going to represent that we represent Nigeria. And we give nothing but the very best. Wow, that's amazing! Good job, good job. We look forward to greater eye on you to take over the world and keep making African proud. Bro, keep keep the fire burning. We appreciate you. Uh, we will look yeah. forward to have you another day. You have Thank a good evening. Okay, hold on. Before you go, people are saying that I must sing. I don't know why. Okay. I've seen, I've seen but me, but okay, uh, maybe I will just do something I'm working on. I'm, I've already started gym. So, um, this chick's more, this chick's they must go inside. This stomach must come inside <laughs> because Nigerian girl, back in the days when you were our age, sir, you can tell that ladies back then fell in love with guys with big tummy. Because they used to say, I need your connection. <laughs> Nobody cared about six pack. I don't know where six pack came from, but everybody's now looking for six pack. And at this point, I'm looking for six pack now. We see big Kubana chief priest over over Alex Kubo because of money. So they need to calm down with this um with this stomach of everything. I have started gym. I paid for one month. After the first day, I, will, I said to myself, I am not going again. I will never be there because I feel that gym is suicide. Because it's you that will tell yourself that you need it. You go and pay. It's you that it's you that will see if the body pay you buy 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 some more panadol, a boniki. Not because you want to care. Be um, our gym is not like a labor room. Everything you are hearing in the labor room, you hear in our gym. We are push. Push other, it's coming out. I can see the air. That's the game of every more. I'm not giving that. So this gym, this gym of a team, I don't like it. I wrote a song for my gym instructor. His name is Godwin. And I said, Godwin, my gym instructor. I'm not doing anymore. Now belay I get, I know kill person. I said I want flat on me, but you really want to kill me. At 11.45, I'm going to eat for food. And there's nothing you can do if you have a flat tummy, me. And all you do is oppress me. Thunder fire you and your past. You cannot intimidate us. Big stomach is done. And nothing can come against us. Jabless. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's good to have you, man. Thank you so Thank you much. much. We look forward to you Thank again. You. Thank you. And very have much. a good evening. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. That was a great time with Kenny Black. It's amazing. What we do on a session of science to bring the very best in the world, to come and hear the story and see how we can motivate ourselves to do greater things in Africa, in the world at large. I hope you enjoy your time. Drop your comment and always look forward to follow us. Samuel Ajiboide at Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter. Follow us. Don't mind. Follow us on Twitter, and you can expect a greater, a greater uh, audience, a greater, uh, more guests that we're going to bring. We are bringing a very, a very strong band. David Mosa is going to be with us. For the next episode is going to be. We are bringing all that. We are bringing a billionaire to. We are bringing a billionaire in dollars to our program. For, for the first time, so that you come and tell us how to make money and how to grow our business. Don't miss it. July 8th is going to be a blow. Don't miss it. Thank you guys for coming over. I hope you've learned something today. See you soon. Bye for now.